Bitcoin has been doing the same exact moves for the past nine years, cycle after cycle, repeating the same move, cycle next time, repeating the same move, cycle the next one, repeating the same move. Every single cycle, it does the exact same moves and we're right on track. And this is what happens next. Welcome in. If you're new, my name is Steve. On this channel, we talk about just the facts in the charts. We don't take paid ads. We don't take paid sponsorships. Down below, there's no paid affiliate links. We've never accepted any money to promote any coin. We've never accepted any money to promote any crypto product. What we do instead, we talk about just the facts in the charts that actually help people. The only thing I'm asking you to do is hit the subscribe button so we can keep doing what we're doing. Hit that subscribe button, throw a thumbs up on it, follow us on Twitter at CryptoCrewU, and let's jump into it. We're on the Bitcoin US dollar index and we're on the two month chart. We have price action up above. Down below, we have the SNAB RSI EMA. And if you're looking for the settings, they are right here. Now, simply put, what we have is a green line and a red line, and the way that they're interacting is the same exact way in every single market. Take a look. What we have is the bottom of our market here, right? Back when we had our top, we rolled into this bloodbath of a bottom, and we had this formation here. This exact formation is what happened in the next market cycle bottom, which was right here. This exact formation that we see here is the precise formation here. And guess what? We just had that same exact formation here. So what we see going further is do you see this pivot point here, right? Where the market actually had a green line break above the red line and go into this abnormally high volume here and then crash back down. This crash back down was that pivot point. Watch for this pivot point because that pivot point, which is right here, is the exact pivot point right here. The only difference was we had fallen a little bit. And that same pivot point is the exact pivot point we just had right here, okay? The exact pivot points. Take a look structurally. What we had here is our move up, our move down, we move back up, we crash back down. That same pivot point was right here with that same pivot point being here. What we noticed from this pivot point to the top of the market was precisely 488 days. From this pivot point to the top of the market was 488 days. You may say, well, Steve, that's kind of cute but there's no way in hell it's 488 days from here to here also. It was only in this market and then it never happens the same way. So if you follow my channel, every single market cycle, the biggest comment I see is Steve, this time is different. We can't compare to last cycle. This time is different. They told me that in 2018 when I called the three day death cross and I said that the market would bottom within one month. What happened in 2018? We had a three day death cross. The market bottomed within one month. Fast forward to our recent cycle. We had a three day death cross. I said, look, we're having a three day death cross. It's likely that the market will bottom within one month. What happened? We had a three day death cross. We bottomed within one month. The same things happened every single cycle. So it was 488 days. We'll go ahead and we'll measure it again, just so you can see from that pivot point here, 488 days. This pivot point is the exact pivot point from here. It's the same exact move. And we look at this pivot point to the top here and guess what? 486 days. It's the exact same. It's even the same exact time. And then when you look at it, this pivot point was right here in market cycle one. This pivot point was right here in market cycle one. And what happened? We were at this pivot point right here in market cycle one, right on schedule with our nice little pivot point precisely in phase one of the bull. Same exact here, same exact here. It's the same formation. And when you look at it and you break it down, you say, okay, 486 days, 486 days. How about from here? If we project this out, it's going to tell us when we're going to reach this high. Again, what you want to do with here is you wanna be taking profits anywhere up here, right? Just like you wanna be buying anywhere down here, right? This is technically the RSI, 
right? You want to be you want to be taking profits and you want to be buying. So it's going to when we project out the 486 days, it's going to tell us when we should be taking our next profits. Take your phone, tilt it to the side, hit that subscribe button. When we should be locking in incredible profits because it's the same structure that we've had time and time again. So why don't we measure it out? And by the way, in today's video, I'm going to give you reason number two of how you can turn around your financial success. Last video, I did the first reason. There are three things you need to master if you want to achieve financial freedom, if you really want to become wealthy, if you really want to become successful. If you don't do these three things, there's no way in hell you're going to become financially free. No way in hell. And I know it's your biggest goal, but there's no way in hell you'll become financially free if you do not master these three skills. We talked about skill one in the previous video. I'm going to talk about skill two right after I share this chart with you. So 486 days projects us out to where this potential next top is going to be. You know, we had our top back here in the first cycle in 2011 up here at around 100. We had our next one at about 98. We had the next one after that about 96. We had the next one after that about 99. We had the next one that after that about 97. Pretty safe to say that we'll be going over 90. Okay. It's pretty safe to say that over 90 is a phenomenal place to take profits. So once we project out that time frame, you will have the time frame and that 90 area, and you will watch this SNAP RSI EMA like a hawk with these precise settings as displayed on the screen. So let's project it out. We talk about 486 days, 489 days brings us out here. Keep in mind, these are two month candles. So we're in the November, 2020. So basically early 2025, we're gonna be looking late 2024, early 2025, our eyes are going to be peeled here to this indicator and we're gonna be looking above the 95 level to take profits. Okay, now let's get to tip number two to really help you. And the tip number one, we talked about living below your means. It's impossible to become wealthy or rich and not live below your means. It's impossible to become financially free, financially independent. The second thing is investing. Once you figure out how to live below your means, and that's got to be number one, you've got to live below your means. You're going to have a ton of free cash and you should be able to invest 50% of your after tax money that's coming to you every month. Whatever that number is every month, you should be able to invest 50% of it or your budget is not balanced, right? If you really master the skill of living below your means, 50% should be easy. So I want you to learn investing. Most people will say, well, I know investing. I, I, I can understand the charts. This chart you just showed us, Steve, I understand it. But look at your results. If you're not multiplying your money over the past handful of years, you haven't figured out how to invest. Plain and simple. Look at your results because in your mind, you keep tricking yourself. Oh, this next trade's gonna be big. Oh, wait until this next rally. Wait till this next bull run. I'm gonna recover all this. I was there. I was there and it's a, it's a long, hard road. And no matter what I tell you, it can't change your mind. The only thing that can help you is you. You have to wake up. And it took me years. I was just like you, potentially right? I was convinced I knew the investing game. I was convinced I knew the charts. I was convinced I had a trading strategy. I convinced myself that I was following it. I convinced myself of all of these things. But what remained a fact was if I looked at my results, my results were screaming, Steve's an idiot. He's got no idea what he's doing. But my ego was telling me the exact opposite. Steve's the man, knows exactly what he's doing. It was all through high school, complete bloodbath all through college, bloodbath. Year after year, I convinced myself I knew what I was doing, that the next trade would be it, that, I, oh, I just needed to wait until this next bull run. I needed to wait until this. I needed to boo, 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 boo. Your ego is going to play with you and you have to shut it up and throw it right in the trash. Look at your results. That will tell you if you know how to invest. If you don't, obviously I have courses, but you've got to learn from somewhere. Whether you take them with me or you learn on your own, you gotta start a new wave. But living below your means and investing are the top two so far. In the next video, I'm gonna tell you the third thing. And there are only three things you have to master to become incredibly wealthy or financially free. There are only three. That's the second one. 
third one coming in the next video. Hit that subscribe button. Follow us on Twitter at CryptoCrewU. Hit the like button. Share this video with somebody who needs it. And I'll see you right back here in the next video. Do you want to know when to buy and when to sell? Click this video right now.